Hello everybody and welcome back to Jared Opens a Box. And this is officially the season finale of Jared Opens a Box. Uh, this is the end of season two, so I thought I would go ahead and grab a couple of really cool exclusive characters. The first that we have is the Walmart exclusive Venomized Spider-Man from the Spider-Man Maximum Venom line. And then we have the Venomized Green Goblin from Hot Topic from the normal Marvel Venom line. So, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this. Let's go ahead and see what we're dealing with. I am gonna be starting with the Walmart exclusive Venomized Spider-Man. And it does come on a stand. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And there it is. And that is a really cool looking pop. It's a bit of a strange, um, bit of a strange pop because, you know, when you think Venomized Spider-Man, you would think the black suit Spider-Man. That's the more common, um, uh, Venomized Spider-Man. So this one is a bit different because it has, uh, white and black on it, which, uh, I think actually looks really cool. I think it's a different pop. It would have definitely been a little bit unoriginal if it was just another black suit Spider-Man pop because I believe Funko has already made a couple of those. So I think this one is pretty unique. And of course, it isn't exactly on Funko's decision. This is just how he's going to look in the uh, Marvel Spider-Man Maximum Venom show, uh, if he hasn't already debuted on it. I haven't actually gotten to check out that show yet, but uh, this pop, I know, is from that. So spoiler alert for that show, I guess, um, as this would be a spoiler alert. Um, but that's okay. And there it is. Stands perfectly. And of course, all the Marvel Pops do bobble. That one does bobble. Now, this is the one that I'm really looking forward to opening. This is the Venomized Green Goblin. A Hot Topic exclusive. And these actually came out, I believe they came out early this year. Because uh, I remember uh, the Venomized Green Goblin came out, I believe, in March. While the other ones came out in February. But look at this. <laughs> I mean... That is insane. Uh, we haven't really gotten any Green Goblin Funko Pops in quite a while. So this is definitely a, uh, a different pop. Uh, you see he's got the Venom look. He retains his usual design. He has the green and the purple hat and the purple outfit. Uh, a little bit of tears in there. You can't really see it too crazily, but there are a couple tears. And the glider is a Venom glider. It even has the symbiote coming off of it. So that's a pretty cool feature. And even the pumpkin has uh, Venom-like uh, appearances on it, as it does have a really scary face and some flame particles coming off of it. Other, I mean, it's just such a cool pop. And it does stand, actually. It does stand. Uh, so if you do want it to stand up, there you go. The head does bobble, because, uh, you know, all the Marvel pops do bobble. And I just think that the glider is very well detailed. The pop itself is very well detailed. I think everything about it just looks great. It, it does a really good job, and I think that it's a very good pop. I think both of them are actually very well done pops for the Venom line, and hopefully we do get some more Venom pops soon. Um, this is just about all we have for now. Uh, and obviously this one uh, is just the Spider-Man suit, except it has the Venom symbol there, so nothing else to say about that one. But I guess that's going to do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.